All right then, gang. So currently, when we add all this data into the form and we click Add, we create either an invoice object or a payment object, and we just log that to the console. But now what I'd like to do is take those objects and the information inside them, use the format method on them to get the sentence that we want, and output that in some kind of list on the page. Now, to do that, we're going to use a brand new class called list template. And I've already created this file inside classes, list template.ts. And this class right here is going to do basically two things. First of all, it's going to register a list container, which is a UL that we want to output the list items to inside the constructor. Now, our list container is going to be this thing right here, this UL in the index.html page. So we'll do that first. The second thing the class needs to do is to create a render method to render a new li template to the container. Now, this render method is going to accept three different arguments. First of all, either the invoice or payment object that we want to output. Secondly, a heading for that list item. And thirdly, a position. Do we want this at the start of the UL at the top or at the end of the UL at the bottom? So once we've done that, inside the function, we're going to create the HTML template, which will be an li, and then an h4 inside that for the heading and a paragraph tag inside it for the formatted invoice or payment. Now, after we've done that, we're just going to add the li template to either the start or the end of the list. So let's start by saying export because we're going to export this class and import it into app.ts later on. And we'll call this list template like so. Now, the first thing we need is our constructor. And inside there, we want to take in a private property. We're going to call this container. And this is going to be the UL that we want to output the li tags to. So we're going to pass that in to the constructor whenever we create a new instance of the list template class. Now, this must be of a specific type. And it's going to be an unordered list element. In TypeScript, we can say that by saying HTML U list element. OK, so we take that in and open and close your curly braces. We don't need to do anything inside here because remember, when we have this thing right here, private, this modify in front of the property, it automatically assigns whatever value we pass in as the argument to a property on that instance. We don't then need to declare it up here and also set it inside here. We learned about that before. Okay, so that's the first step. The second thing we want to do is create a render method. And it takes these three things in remember. An invoice or payment is the first item, a heading, the second one, and a position, the third one. So the first one we'll call item. Now, what type is this going to be? Well, it's not going to be invoice because it could be a payment as well. And it's not going to be payment because it could be an invoice as well. But we could use this thing right here. This interface has formatter and say that, look, whatever you pass in as the first item right here, that object has to be has formatter or implement the has formatter interface. And we know that both the invoice and payment do that because if we go to those classes, they both implement has formatter. So we can do that right here. So it's going to be has formatter like so. And when I clicked enter, it automatically imported that right up here. I'm just going to add .js on the end. And the next property that we need is going to be the heading. So that will be a string. And that's going to be the thing that's at the top of the li tag. And then thirdly, we need a position. And that's going to be one of two items, both of which are going to be strings. Start to say we want it to go at the start of the list, or it's going to be the end right here. OK, so this is a union type to say it's going to be either this or this. It can't be anything else. No other string. So then the first thing we want to do right here is create the li. So I'm going to say const li is equal to document.create element. This is just regular JavaScript right here. And we're creating an li. Now, automatically, it infers the type because it knows what we're creating. So if we hover over this, we can see that it is an HTML li element. OK, the next thing we want to do is create an h4. So I'll say const h4 is equal to document.create element again. This time, it's h4. And then I want to set the inner text of the h4 equal to whatever heading we pass in. So I'll say h4 dot inner text and set that equal to the heading property we take in right here. 
All right, and then finally, I want to append the H4 to the LI that we created, so it goes inside that, and we can do that by saying li.append and pass in the H4, which is this thing. Okay, so that's the H4 done. Now we need to create a paragraph tag that's also gonna go inside the LI. So const p equals document dot create element and it's going to be a paragraph tag and then after that I'm going to say p dot inner text is equal to item now remember this implements the has formatter interface so we can be sure the item has the method format so I'm going to say dot and we can see format right here to invoke that and remember that returns a formatted string in both cases that looks like this so that's going to be inside the paragraph tag for either the invoice or the payment, depending on what we pass in right here. Now we have that, we can say li.append and append the paragraph tag like so. Okay then, so the final thing to do is to take this li and render it now inside the UL. Now, first of all, we need to find out whether the person wants it at the start or the end of the UL. So let's do a little check first of all. I'll say if and then pause is triple equal to start then we're going to place it at the start of the ul so we'll say this dot container which is the ul remember when we create an instance of list template we're going to pass in the exact ul that we want and we're going to take that and then we're going to prepend which means put it at the start of the tag and that is going to be the li tag that we create right here that we prepend to it okay so else if that's not the case, we're going to put it at the end. And to do that, we use the append method. So we'll say this.container.append, this time, the li. All right, then. So that is pretty much done. So now all we need to do is create an instance of this, pass in a UL. And then once we've done that, whenever we add a new invoice or payment, all we need to do is call this render method on that instance and pass in the invoice or payment as well as a string, as well as this option right here. So let's go over here and instead of just logging this to the console now, I want to render something. But before we do it down here, up here, what I'm going to do is write a comment, first of all, to say list template instance. And we'll create that instance now by saying const ul is equal to document.query selector. So first of all, we're going to grab the ul that we need from the document. Now there's only one ul in our page over here so we don't need to use the class it knows to get this one since it's the only one and once we've done that we can pass this now into an instance of this class like so so let me now underneath that say that we want a new constant called list and we'll set that equal to new list template and we want to pass in the ul okay now we get a little error right here and if we hover over it we can see that it could be null so we need to tell typescript that this is definitely going to be found in the page by adding an exclamation at the end of it and now the error goes now when i use this when i wrote it out it automatically imported the invoice right at the top over here not the invoice the list template so now what i'm going to do is just get rid of all of this junk from the last tutorials and i'm going to use this list down here and I'm going to use the render method on that list to render whatever document that we create. So now I'll just say that list.render and we want to pass in the document, which is either going to be a payment or invoice. Remember, it's one of these things. If it's invoice, then it's a new invoice. Otherwise, it's a new payment. So that's the first parameter. The second one is the title, and that is going to be the type.value. Remember, the type is what this thing is right here. So the heading is either going to be payment or invoice. And then finally, we need to pass in either end or start. I'm going to say end, which means it's going to go to the end of the list. So now we've done all that. And you should be compiling this, which I have done. Now, let's cross our fingers. I'm going to refresh and hope this works. So I'm going to say Mario, and it's an invoice, by the way, website work and the amount is 250 press add and we get this list item right here awesome now remember the styles for this come from the styles.css which i added at the very start of the playlist that's why it looks a bit nicer than just blank text now let me create a payment and this is luigi this is for 
plumbing work and the amount is going to be 200 add that and now we can see this payment as well awesome so now all of this is working